Hello and welcome to another V-Ray feature short demonstration. In this video, we'll go over the V-Ray Edges texture and its different uses. The V-Ray Edges texture is a procedural texture that generates colored lines along the edges of a polygonal mesh object. The parts of the texture that do not contain lines are transparent, making the texture easy to overlay over an existing material. Let's take a closer look at the V-Ray Edges texture. The scene has some relatively low poly objects. Notice the sharp, unbeveled edges of the objects. Let's start V-Ray RT so we can render interactively. The light setup is the V-Ray Sun and Sky system. You can learn more about how to set it up in another V-Ray short demonstration. A material override is used with a dark grey material that has reflectivity and glossiness less than 1. This way, if any bevels are present, they can be easily identified. Let's plug in a V-Ray Edges text in the Diffuse slot. The edges of all mesh objects appear in white. This color can be adjusted from the color swatch. By default, only polygon edges are rendered. The hidden edges option shows the edges of the triangles that make up every polygon. There is also an option that shows any subdivided triangles that result from displacement and render time subdivision. In this case, there are no subdivided triangles. The thickness of the lines can be specified in world units or in pixels. A great feature of the V-Ray Edges texture is that when plugged into the bump slot of a material, it will render the sharp edges as beveled. As a version 3.3 of V-Ray for 3ds Max, this feature has been modified to render ray trace rounded corners. This means that several new effects can be achieved. For example, V-Ray Edges texture can detect intersecting polygons and generate a rounded corner at the point of the intersection. By default, this effect is visible only if the intersecting polygons belong to the same object, like these beams here. Disabling this option detects intersection by all objects with material that has V-Ray Edges texture plugged in. However, in this case, we don't need rounded corners between different objects. Currently, all intersections and edges are rounded at render time. And as we can see here, there are some intersections that are not desired. These are all concave corners and can be disabled from being rounded by this dropdown. Of course, the other way around can be used as needed. Finally, let's adjust the size of the round corners. Let's use a larger one. Or a bit smaller one. This way the highlights clearly show the effect. In this case, the override material has quite low glossiness value. This means that the reflections on it are very blurry and will contribute quite less to the shading. So a good optimization is to turn the trace reflections off. Now let's remove the material override and see how the V-Ray Edges text can contribute greatly to the final look of the shader. In this short video tutorial we have covered how the V-Ray Edges texture can be used to generate outlines and rounded corners at render time. I hope you have found this video useful and helpful. Make sure you check out more V-Ray featured videos. Thanks for watching.